Hello there, everybody. Dmod Gmod here. And can you believe it? We are standing right now in the Indigo Plateau, the last destination on our journey. Yep, we're finally here, people. Last time, we made it here through Victory Row, the super, not super dungeon, the final dungeon of every Pokemon game, which is connected to the Pokemon League, which is where we are. This time, we're going to begin our quest into the Pokemon League challenge and hopefully come out victorious. Actually, forget hopefully. We're going to come out victorious. I'm motivated. We got this. Okay, so off camera, like I said, I did trade up my Pokemon a bit because at the current levels we had, we were boned. Now, I'm going to go over each Pokemon one by one. As you can see here, everybody's at least level 50. However, Bubble, Surge, and Omni actually got one more level than what I intended. So I'm not complaining. Anyways, let's take a quick look at the entire team before we can carry on. So, Little Mac. He's not much different. So as you can see his stats, he's pretty good special defense. He's got some awesome attack and defense. His speed also isn't bad. Special attack's terrible though. Anyway, it's his moves I want to talk about. So, he tried learning counter off screen, and I taught it to him. Now, counter is a move that you... How do I put this? Whenever you use counter, you automatically go last during that turn. However, if you get hit by a physical move, you hit your opponent back with double the damage afterwards. Basically, it can one-shot a lot of opponents. As long as they get you into the yellow HP or more and you counter them, they're probably dead. Counter is a very effective move if you can predict what their opponent's going to do. Next up is Lucky, which hasn't changed at all besides its levels. Uh, Meow Su, I actually changed it a little bit. I know we just taught a double edge, but if you look here, Meow Su, it doesn't really have any bulk, so I don't expect the double edge to even, like, connect, like... We're not going to be able to use Double Edge reasonably. It has a lot of HP, but that's all it was backing up with. So instead, I decided to give it Slash, which is a 70 power normal type move, which has a pretty high chance of uh, causing critical hits, which could be a game changer, which we could need in the future. Uh, next up is Bubbles. On Bubbles, I got rid of Helping Hand for Asta Armor, because I'm telling you this right now, we are not doing any more double battles for the rest of the LP, so Helping Hand is absolutely useless. Acid Armor is, even though it's a poison type move, a lot of what the Boron can learn it, is a move that sharply raises your defense by two stages. So, basically, it can turn Vapora into a much better tank than it already is. Very helpful. Uh, next up is Raichu, which isn't any different. And next up is Ami, who actually tried to learn Drill Peck, which I did teach it. It's basically Peck, but it's 80 power and not 30. Uh, gee, I wonder why I went with Drill Peck. But seriously, Drill Peck is going to be much more effective than Fly, so I'm happy I got Drill Peck. And that's the entire team, people. This team, I'm not gonna lie, I know we still have a bit more of a child to go, but I'm gonna miss this team. This team was awesome. I am really proud of this team. Sure, it doesn't have the most powerful Pokemon. Sure, it doesn't have the most used Pokemon. Sure, it doesn't have Charizard on it. But still, I'm pretty happy with what I pulled off. Anyways, with that said, there's one more thing I wanna do before we go over here. I'm also gonna give you a heads up before, okay. First of all, there's two things left to do. If you look over here, I already blew the bank. I already bought our items for the uh, Pokemon League. So do not worry about that. I bought it off camera, so you do not have to wait. We have 10 revives and 20 Hyper Potions going in. That should be plenty. Now, before we go in, I want to give special attention to my PC box. Now, these Pokemon may have not been on the team. They may have only been on the screen for about a minute tops. Unless you're a legendary Pokemon, then you're on there for freaking half an hour. But, they did serve a purpose in our journey. We caught them, they gave us memories, and even sometimes they helped us quite a bit, like this Voltorb here. So, I'd like to give each one of these Pokemon their own special attention. Now, I'm gonna cue some special music here. So, give me a second.
with that taken care of, thank you all again to all you Pokemon that served us on our journey. Now, it is time! No more dilly-dallying! It's time to get this challenge started. Now, I'm gonna give you a tip right off the bat. Bring out something that can fight ice types. That's my tip for you. Anyways, no turning back. Let's save our game quickly. Are you guys ready? Because I don't even know if I'm ready. Let's do this! Here we are. We're in the Elite Four Chamber now. As you can tell from here, it's a nice type trainer. You can probably tell that. Let's talk to her. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am L'Oreal of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to my icy Pokemon. Freaky moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they're all frozen solid. <laughs> are you ready? Let's begin this. Our first Elite Four member. L'Oreal, the ice type user, as she just said. Let's get this started. Now, I am going to let you guys notice, just so you guys know this for your own reference sake. I look up at, like, I get to see the moveset after the Elite Four is over. So, like, how do I put this? I fight the trainer, and then I edit it in afterwards with the picture. So I do not know their movesets going in. However, I do know L'Oreal's moveset because of the fact that when I was level grinding, I actually fought her to grind up my Pokemon. So I do know L'Oreal quite a bit. Just want to get that out of the way. She opens up with a Dugon level 52. Here's this moveset right here. My best tip for you, take this thing out as fast as possible. Do whatever it takes. I'm gonna go straight for the Sky Uppercut, which should be a 1 of KO, because Dugon's physical defense isn't anything to uh, write about. Oh, wow, it lived. Impressive. All right, it's gonna go for the Ice Beam, which is gonna actually do a lot less than I was expecting. Alright, she does- the Elite Four does use- they still use items. She has two full restores total. I think all of the Elite Four has full restores, and I think they all have two. I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Sky Uppercut again, and let's just wrap this up with a Rock Punch. Alright, there goes her Dugon. One out of six out of the way. Perfect. Alright, let's see if she brings up what I think she's about to bring out. Yep, there it is. Slowbro is actually not a- Ice type. It's a water psychic type, which is interesting. Now I'm gonna bring Surge out here because I'm concerned that Lucky is also is weak to psychic, and it's also probably gonna get out. Actually, what was I thinking? This is Slowbro. There's no way it's gonna get out sped. Anyway, Slowbro is level 52 water psychic type with the move set shown now. All right, let's take this thing out. A quick Thunderbolt should do the job nicely. I'm not expecting to run a KO because Slowbro's special defense is a freaking beast, but it should do a good amount. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There is the move I was worried of. Amnesia. This will sharply raise its special defense, which is why I want to KO this thing as soon as possible. If this thing gets six of them up, Grass and Water type moves are going to do nothing to this thing. And that's basically all that's really weak to besides Ghost. Anyways, down goes Slowbro. Two out of six out. Next up is our third Pokemon, Cloyster. And I'm going to stick in with Surge here. Cloyster, Water Ice type, level 51, with the moves that shown here. Too bad you got to see its moveset because it's already dead. Seriously though, I don't think this is gonna live. Cloyster special defense is pretty, it's pretty bad. Yep, exactly. All right. That was quick. All right, three out of six down. Or did she have five? Okay, Jinx. Let me think here. I think it's the first time we're fighting Jinx. I'm gonna warn you, Jinx can actually be quite the troublemaker if you don't take it out quickly. All right, let's throw in Meow just do. I know we're faster than it. Alright. Oh, she has five Pokemon, not six. My mistake. Alright, Jinx is level 54. This thing is an Ice Psychic type, and it is surprisingly fast. Here's this moveset shown right here. Alright, now my plan here is to toss it this thing and whittle it down, because again, Jinx is surprisingly powerful. It's got a good amount of speed for how it looks, and it also has lovely kiss. <sighs> Yes, it can put your Pokemon to sleep, and yes, that's very annoying. Alright, now, now my plan here is a match dig, because I want to stall it out enough so that toxic damage keeps racking up. Because if we can get the toxic damage low enough, I'm pretty sure a slash is going to knock it out. Like, look at this. It actually hits really hard for what I thought it would. Like, Jinx is pretty admirable, to be honest. No, Meow Desu, please, wake up! Ah, too bad, it's already down. Well, crap. Alright, first Pokemon down at the Pokemon League. Let's try not to make it anymore. Let's try and limit the casualties. Uh, you know what, Bubbles? I'm pretty sure you wall this thing out pretty well. Let's throw Bubbles in. 
And Toxic is still gonna rack up damage. So Manasu, even though you're not with us like in this battle anymore, at least your efforts are still coming in handy. And that's gonna do nothing. Yeah, look at that. I absolutely tanked it. Nice. I'm hoping this will almost knock it out. Poison! 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 Yeah! Maldasu! Nice work. Even though you got knocked out, you still took out the Jinx in the long run. And our last Pokemon, Lapras. Water Ice type. And I'm thinking, yeah, let's bring in Little Mac. Actually, no. I'm gonna bring in Surge first. I'm gonna Thunder Wave this thing just so we can switch into anything and have it hit it really hard. In case Surge faints. Lapras is level 54 with the moveset shown here. Alrighty, and let's thunder wave this thing. Get him out of here. Alright. Let's see here. And there it is. Confuse Ray. I remember Lapras' Confuse Ray quite well, so... Fun. Am I actually gonna Rock Smash or not Thunderbolt? I wanna see if I can get a Defense Drop. Because if we can get a Defense Drop, then there's no question that Sky Uppercut is not gonna knock it out. Yes! Alrighty! That's basically a guaranteed Lapras down right there. And, ooh, there's the powerful surf. Uh, that did a lot. I guess throwing Thunderbolt. Alright. And yep, we're dead. Alright, second Pokemon down. Now we're not living that, no way. Oh well, again, you did a great job. You lowered its defense and you paralyzed it. Which means all we have to do now is come on in here and uppercut the son of a gun. You have to miss now of all times! Come on, Little Mac! Hit! What? Are you kidding me? It's 85% accurate! Stop missing! Okay, thank you. If you missed the third time, I was gonna literally release you into the wild again. Sky Uppercut and... Yep! Thank you, Raticate. Not Raticate, Raichu! <laughs> Alright, down goes L'Oreal, and holy crap did we miss way too much for me to be happy. Things that... That's what I should be saying. Things shouldn't be this way. We shouldn't have taken that much damage. We should have been done after the first guy uppercut. You're better than I thought. Go on ahead. You only got a taste of the Pokemon League's power. So, this is only the first match. I'm a little worried about the rest. Uh, let's heal up quickly. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we got some Hyper Potions. I think Little Max is the only one who's going to really need it. I'm gonna try and limit my uses on potions. I also have kind of a self rule that I don't want to use items unless we're after the battle. Like, unless it's after the. Where is my revives? Did I not. Did I not buy any revives? I'll be right back. I'm gonna go buy some revives. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. So it actually did turn out that I actually forgot to buy revives. Yeah, I'm a genius, aren't I? Well, the good news is I'm back and I decided... Well, I did buy the revives, don't get me wrong. I bought 15 of them. And by the way, I literally sold everything in our bag that isn't necessary for this challenge. To get the money to buy the revives. Um, and... I also used the fresh water, so we still have 20 hyper potions. We're still good, good to go in that way. And the last thing I want to mention is... Last, on the last LP, I did a Pokemon in Pokemon Sapphire. I did Elite Fours in pairs of two. So the first episode of the Elite Four, I did the first two, and then the next episode, I did the other two. Well, in this in this run of well, LP, I'm actually going to do it so every Elite Four ep character has their own episode. Now, I know that means that some of these are going to be extremely short, and other ones are going to be much longer. However, I want to give them their own episodes, because you know, they're unique characters, they're unique bosses, you only get to fight them once. So, I think it's fair, alright? So, next time on Pokemon Fire Red, we're gonna move on to the next Elite Four member. Watching, I'll see you guys then!